Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Hi, I'm Supervisor Paula Mahan, and welcome to Colony Connect. Today it's my pleasure to introduce to you our special guest, Gail Reedon. Gail is president of the Challenger Program with the North Colony Baseball League. Hi, Gail. Hi, Paula. Thank you for having me. It's uh, p a pleasure to see you again. I know we've uh, had the opportunity to work together at Shaker Junior High School. As you know, uh, I am a longtime educator, was a longtime educator in the field of special education and uh, worked with uh, students with special needs for, for many years and enjoyed every minute of it. And it's really uh, a pleasure to be here with you today, uh, as well as to visit uh, the baseball parks and see you there with the kids. Um, I know uh, you also share that passion and and really do a great job with, with the boys and girls that you. Uh, you give the opportunity to participate in the sports programs. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe have you tell me a little bit about your background and, and how the whole program came about. Okay. My background is uh, I've lived in North Colony all my life. Mm -hmm. We have five children and they all attended all North Colony schools. Okay. And um, in working in the schools with the children with special needs, I saw the other students coming in with uh, their jerseys or their cheerleading outfit and talking about their sports. And our children with special needs, most of them didn't have that opportunity to play. And then one of the parents invited me to South Colony to their son's game. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, I found a lot of our students I worked with were there. And South Colony has a wonderful program, mm -hmm. but the parents wanted to know why North Colony doesn't have it. So I went to work on it. I contacted the people in Pennsylvania who give you a grant to start with. They run the national program. Okay. I went to the North Colony Youth Baseball Board. Mm -hmm. They voted it in right away, asked me to join the board, and uh, they just are so supportive. I mean, they anything I want or need, they give me. Mm -hmm. Let me buy whatever equipment I need. Uh, from there, I went to Sheila Lucier, who is the Pupil Service Director, and she let me send home information to the parents. And we started with, um, four teams of 30 children, and this past year was our fourth year, mm -hmm. and now we're up to uh, eight teams with almost 70 children. Wow, that's great. It, it, now, the, the ages for the kids in the program, it, it's just like any other little league program. You, uh, you sign your, your child up to play baseball, uh, and are there different age categories, or do they, do they get to play to, all together? How does it work? Uh, we have children from five to 21, Okay. We normally place the 5 to 9 year olds in one group and 10 to 21 year olds in another. But the ability of the students, some of the older children want to play with the younger ones. Some of the younger ones think they're good enough and big enough to play with the older one. So we give everybody a turn. Everybody a turn. Yep. They um, play uh, for an hour and uh, we don't have any outs. Everybody hits and runs bases. Mm -hmm. They have uniforms. We have an umpire. Mm -hmm. And uh, we teach them, the younger children play less of a, you know, game, just more fun. Mm -hmm. The older children actually play innings and have outs, and mm -hmm. they're actually playing a game. Very good. Well, I know uh, I was there on opening day, and as we all marched in, uh, there were so many kids from all over uh, North Colony involved with the, uh, the whole baseball program. And uh, I noticed uh, there were students in wheelchairs that were participating and uh, throwing the ball, the first ball out, things like that. Uh, and everyone else was helping out. It was really beautiful to see. Um, as an educator in the field of special ed and going through so many years of changes, students with special needs, uh, the programs are, that are offered today are so different than the programs from years ago. And one of the things in education was always the idea of, of uh, you know, leveling the playing field so that everyone has an equal opportunity to participate uh, in whatever, whatever it might be. And, and in education, we 
we work on having students in the least restrictive environment, which gives them the best opportunity and, and the most opportunity to participate with their non-disabled peers. And we do that in education, and we like to bring that out into the community as well. Um, because kids, when they grow up together, they learn about individual differences and you know the diversities in our culture, whatever it might be. Uh, and so when they grow up together and they, they learn to help each other, um, they learn to be compassionate, they, they learn to see that um, you know, others participate, maybe uh, in a different way, but uh, that there's room for everybody. And when I, when I see your program and I see the kids out there with, with all the other baseball players, boys and girls, whatever it might be, uh, it, it's just, it's just another you know, piece of evidence that here we've proven that we can have inclusive programs, not only in school, uh, but also when we're, when we're out there in the community and whether it's a sporting event or, or any other type of event, uh, that with volunteers like yourself and people that are willing to, to go above and beyond, you can, you can get these things done. And uh, I know as a, as a special educator, I truly appreciate all that you've done. And as now as the supervisor of the town and, and getting to see the entire community and how everyone interacts, um, you know, again, you, you've just done such, such a wonderful job. Um, do, is, are most of the people that participate in the program, are they all volunteers or do you have specific sponsors? How does uh, it work? We have mostly all volunteers. <clears throat> Our announcers are two senior citizens who came forward. And now they've become like grandparents to all the players. Uh -huh. um, all of the uh, Shaker uh, varsity teams come to all of our sports. That's great. They come to practices and to games. Um, a youth group from Calvary Methodist Church has come a couple of years. Mm -hmm. They're buddies. And uh, I even have a couple um, gentlemen that are, are uh, coaches who have no children in the program. They called up. And my whole family is involved. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, if I'm doing it, they're doing it. My husband lugs all these stuff for me. My son is one of the coaches, and he's a young gentleman, no children yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my granddaughter's getting her master's in special ed. She helps when she can. And, but everybody, I mean, the board, you know, any place I go and ask for help, no one ever says no, They're and there. people can't do enough. That's great. Help. Well, you know, when you see something that's so good, it's so good for the kids, it's, it's good for uh, the other kids that are involved in the program, it's good for the families, it's, it's good for the community as a whole, so it, it, how can you say no? So I, uh, you know, I, I would assume that, that there would be people lined up that would want to help. Um, I know with all of the other programs at the, you know, the end of the year, there's always diff there's different types of banquets and things like that, special awards ceremonies. Are, are the, the kids able to earn awards or uh, the teams, do they have special awards or anything like that as well? Yes, at the end of uh, baseball, we have a picnic at the Colony Town Park. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, everybody, because they want to play more ball, Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a big party, and then they're given a trophy. Mm -hmm. They're given an award and a patch because we have um, the varsity jacket like the varsity players have mm -hmm. and sweatshirts, and we have the Kaplan District Challenger on it, and we give them a patch so they can have patches like their buddies who mm -hmm. come, mm -hmm. the varsity players. Great. Now, you've, you've been doing this now, you said, four years? This is our fourth, fourth season. Fourth, we just finished. Fourth season you finished. Out of the four years, what would you say was, was the most, uh, what's most rewarding about, about the Challenger League? When you see those children playing sports that they never thought they could play, mm -hmm. and when I walk around and see the parents and the grandparents and people that come to see us that have no one there, have heard about it, and you have people with tears in their eyes when they watch these kids. And when I see the buddies who come to play, they're so excited. They go from sport to sport with us. They ask their coaches if they can come and to see them. And some of them don't have brothers or sisters. Mm -hmm. So they become buddies. And they're so proud of our kids. And they're helping them. And they're just, everybody's happy. And then when I go to the school now to sub, our players are there. And they mm -hmm. wear their jersey yeah. or their uniform. And the teachers tell me they come in every week and tell them, you know, they won the game and how they play. Mm -hmm. It's just so rewarding. It's, it's all about offering that opportunity and that chance. And... Uh, 
you know, a lot of times uh, people say you can't do this or you can't do that, but that's not true. I've found, uh, you know, in, in teaching students with special needs, with, with varying needs in a lot of different uh, areas of disabilities, uh, there's just so much, you know, that can be done. Uh, it, it just continues to get uh, more progressive in that field. And it's amazing what these kids can accomplish. And when you, when you put them, you know, with their non-disabled peers and you give them that opportunity to see what everyone else is doing and, and to participate and join in the excitement and, uh, you know, just to be so proud to wear that jersey or whatever and, uh, and have their buddies. And these are the things that, that make kids progress. These are the things that give them the motivation to, to want to learn more, to want to do more, to want to, you know, go out and participate in whatever it might be. And uh, so I think that you, you have fit right into the model that people have been working on for so long. And many people will come to me and they, you know, they say, do you miss teaching or whatever? And I, I do. I miss it a lot. I, I miss the kids. Um, but I'm so thankful. I mean, I've had the most rewarding career I could ever ask for. And to be able to have that privilege for all those years. Uh, and then moving on to this job as supervisor, I still get to be out there with the kids and interact uh, with schools and, and hear about, you know, things that are, are going on in the community. So that's my, uh, you know, that's my, my sense of, uh, you know, staying, staying grounded and, and saying, uh, you know, I've just, I've just been so lucky because I've learned so much from the kids that I've worked with. And like you say, you know, you have a down day or whatever and, and you think about who you work with and the kids and, and they just always put a smile on your face. They One do. way or the other, they do. All kids, uh, they're all the same. Um, but, um, you know, you've done a great job with, with the baseball program. Uh, now, are there some other programs that might be coming up in other uh, types of sports? I, I heard a little something about maybe bowling or basketball. Yes. Well, right after um, baseball, we had uh, soccer. The Latham Circle okay. Soccer uh -huh. had the TOPS program. And uh, the same thing, the Shakers Varsity, boys and girls both came. And we were very lucky to have the ladies uh, from the University of Albany. Mm -hmm. They came like two weeks ago and spent the hour with the children. And they had so much fun. And they talked to some of the older players who were thinking about going to college mm -hmm. and telling them, you know, to come to their school because they were such a good soccer player. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, for the children who didn't want to play soccer, there was football and cheerleading going on. Okay. And we have both girls and boys playing both football and cheering. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, the cheerleaders were just down at the uh, Times Union Center. They had a competition in October, mm -hmm. and our cheerleaders went with the girls from South Colony. Those girls made our girls' shirts, and then we have uniforms, too. And to see them standing down on that floor in the middle of that Times Union Center, I know the parents told me that they were all crying. Yeah. To see their children down there mm -hmm. able to do that. Uh, the football, Pub Warner football started oh, a long time ago out in East Greenbush. They were mm -hmm. the uh, pilot program. And... Uh, now we um, have seven schools that we travel around to, mm -hmm. and where we go, the varsity players are the buddies again, and the girls cheer, the girls and boys cheer, and uh, we play, and we travel around, and then we have um, a party at the end of the year, and they get trophies and awards again, and uh, it's just going from there. And then now we just started bowling last week. Okay. I went to the uh, spare time bowling alley in Route 2, Route two. Uh -huh. and they have us bowling on Sunday afternoons, and it's family bowling. Everybody comes, mm -hmm. parents, brothers and sisters, grandparents, neighbors, everybody comes in, and we bowl three to five on Sundays. And uh, Sienna's hockey team, because we don't have hockey, so the hockey team is coming, and they're going to be our buddies one week. And uh, we bowl, and then after bowling, we'll be starting our basketball program. Wow. Last year... I went to the Sakati Center, and uh, Roger Mannion, who runs all the basketball programs mm -hmm. all over the area, and uh, 
he helped me get started, and we have the Shooting Stars program. Mm -hmm. I actually, I was at the Sakai That's Center, right. and I actually uh, got to see the kids playing. They were playing basketball that day, and of course, they were just, they were having a ball, and uh, there were a lot of kids involved. It was really great to see, and, um, you know, once again, you know, there's just another opportunity, you know, to, for an activity out in the community. Um, I heard something about a, a trip to Disney. Does that have something to do with, with the football? The football. In the first week in December, uh, they go to Disney, and uh, there's um, challenger programs from all over, Pop Warner, from all over the country mm -hmm. come. And Tom Hines, who runs our football program now, uh, he runs the program for the Disney people when we get there. And they play a game on one of Disney's fields. And then they get one of the parks wow. shut down for them a half of a day, one day, and they get to play. Well, you, you've done an amazing job with this. It's just incredible. And, and you know, you, you got out there, and, and everyone's reaching out to you now and, and wanting to uh, participate or volunteer. Um, I remember years ago when the concept of the buddy system was so new and and finding students to match up with with some of our students uh, that had special needs uh, to to create that buddy system or circle of friends all those types of things and and you've gone as I say beyond the classroom beyond the the uh, the same school age type students working together to uh, reaching out to high school students and, and college students and also introducing them to a whole new population that they maybe ne knew nothing about uh, and, and maybe, you know, just never thought that they might have an interest in, in working with, with students with special needs and then finding out what a, what a beautiful career it is, how rewarding. So, uh, I, again, I, I just compliment you on doing such an outstanding okay. job. Uh, now, are there, um, uh, certainly there are ways that people can contact you if they want to either sponsor or join, you know, one of the, one of the uh, sports groups or whatever. How, how would they contact you? Anyone can call me at my home phone. I uh, gave the gentleman here a card he's going to okay. put up on the screen. Beautiful. Okay. My email address, my phone number, mm -hmm. call anytime. All the schools, everybody knows who I am. Okay. And, um. So, say for example, uh, if someone has a student at, um, you know, at at Shaker Junior High School, if if they wanted to find out about the program, they could either call you or they could call directly to the school, yes. and the school would have that yes, information. Yes, everybody. Um, okay, because I think you you may get some calls after this <laughs> this show airs, uh, and and also I I did hear uh, a little rumor that County Executive Mike Breslin uh, gave you a very special award. I believe it was the 2008 Volunteer of the Year Award. Well, there was a bunch of us that got it. Okay. And it was very nice. Our families were invited. But I felt like, you know, he gave me the award there, and it was a lovely presentation. It was a lovely day. But I feel like that award goes out to all my volunteers. Yes. To everyone, not, you know, just me. It was nice that I got it, but it belongs to all my, the people on the boards, all the varsity teams, the boys and their girls, everyone that comes to help. And also, um, what I wanted to tell you was, with the basketball program, mm -hmm. we play at Sand Creek Middle School, okay. and um, the patroons had us come as a guest one week. We all went down to the armory, and they announced we were there. Um, the Great Danes had us come to one of their games. They announced we were there. Wow. And the Santa Saints, after they won the MAC tournament, mm -hmm. they came over and spent an hour with us. And they played with the kids, and they taught them a lot about basketball, mm -hmm. and they had so much fun. And Fran McCaffrey, I spoke to him already this year, and he said, oh, we're coming back. Coming back, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, so this award goes out to all those people, too, because they all make it. I just get everything together. Well, it's not easy to get everything <laughs> together. And uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, that uh, our county executive, uh, Breslin, uh, it was an honor for him to give you that award. And I'm sure all the students that, that you bring to these programs, um, they're very proud of you as well. So, uh, you know, I, again, I thank you for everything that you do in the community and everything you do for, for our kids. And uh, I, I just, it, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as yes, time goes on. And I look forward to uh, seeing some of the games and, and participating in some of the events. So 
thank you very much for being with us to hear, here today. And I'm sure I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. Thank you for tuning in to Colony Connect.